Hello my friends, welcome to the Vectorize. I'm John Silva. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Look at this. Today I'm going to start here with you a new lesson, which is going to be the exercise, the vector doodling. And I I want to start here with you that case by sharing with you here back our paper. You know, it's been a while since I haven't creating and using many things in traditional art and I miss this a lot, I'll be honest with you. And the best way to get back to to the creativity, I'd say in terms of drawing, uh, it's, it's to have the contact with paper. Sometimes the digital life where we live at the moment, it makes everything too, too busy. It's hard to start to, to create something. And here, basically, as you can see, on paper we can, we can make mistakes. We feel like, it's only this, it's only this. If you are creating using digital art, such as desktop, PC or iPad, I, I feel like, in my case, I feel like uh, sometimes we feel like there are many things to do. So papers are always our friend in our terms, I tell you. And just to give you what I'm going to create, these are just a sketchbook that I have here that I made these designs. I was studying a lot in the beginning of the year and then suddenly things start to crash in my side in terms of time. But now I'd like to bring these kind of lessons back and I want to create a cat but it's gonna be a ninja cat, okay? This is the lesson that I want to do here with you and let's get started or I will show you how my drawing is gonna perform and then after that we can make the vector, alright? So first of all, what you just need to do it is to grab a paper. It can be this paper here. And what the tools that you need? The tools that you need, it is just can be a pencil, can be an eraser here. This is a eraser. <laughs> okay. Just the tip here. And it can be an inking. This is a inking. It's my kind of paint tool. Okay? Very good. And uh, what I want to do it is to create a ninja cat. Uh, what is it going to be important for these situations is that you understand the anatomy of the cat, right? So I will display here some kind of examples of the cat images so you can get some kind of ideas of anatomy. And I want to start here with you by making this sketch. Sketch, it is the very first stage of any kind of decision that you do. Here I'm gonna start by creating the the shapes by using a circle. It's gonna be represented by a head. It can be like this. Let me zoom this a bit more so you can see what's happening. Very good now, better. And I usually start with smooth and the, I'd say soft pressure. And here I will just create a very cute shape. I like to start something like this. I would do here the ears, something like this. And then the nose can be something like here, simple. The eyes can be here. It's important always that you start to build the most simplified shapes, right? And here I'm starting with the head shape, the ears, and the body. Some years ago, I did a tutorial very similar to this cat shape on the iPad, but I'm kind of remaking, doing some stylization. And this cat will be over a piece of wood. So he'll be here. That's drawn on his his hands <laughs> and then I will draw here below for example the the legs it's a very generic pose all right it's not difficult in terms of perspective I'm gonna grab my wrist just to erase here it's a very nice one because I can it's very good I like that and here I'll bring this onto here very good 
and what I will do basically it is to create now the detail can be something like this create one line and then if you are happy with the line then just add some kind of boldness it's going to create a kind of snake shape like this cat usually have a big big tail like monkey right sound like this I'm thinking if I were in digital, of course, I would make this perhaps more to bottom. Let me erase. I think that in terms of organic farms, it would be better if we move this more to below. Yeah, I like this. I like this shape now. Then I will start to implement a boldness right here. No pressure at all if you, are, if you don't feel like you have drawing skills, it's just a matter of having a rough sketch at this moment. And then, let's add a bit more pressure just to define more the lines. Like this here. I'm considering as well to make this a bit more together in terms of shape. For example, here. I'm erasing and make this a bit more clean. Yeah, like this. Like Spider Man pose. Now we got a nice result. Here, as you see, the, the face, the camera that we are doing, it's very in front, but I think that we can apply a bit more details here. Let's add in this way. Very good. If you're enjoying, please leave the like, alright? It's gonna be important. Oh, and then here we add a smile. Like this. Very cute to smile. And then I add a circle here. I'm thinking to make these eyes a bit bigger, perhaps. But I can do this in vector. Let's paint a bit in terms of coloring this shape. I think to make this bigger. And then this will be a very soft shape. And here I will start to implement a bit more nice details in terms of shapes. I'm considering to add here a kind of the ninja <laughs> Naruto thing. Who here is familiar with that? Let me know in the chat in the comment sections, of course. I will just add here this shape like that. Nice, very nice, becoming really very really simple and effective in the way that I like to do. Very clean, nice. And then here it's a piece of wood, okay? Can be very big. And then I was thinking I start telling. Remember when I asked you about start telling? Start telling means how you want to to display this uh, in terms of where the character is i was thinking applying a moon in the very background so you will see how this will work for example i can apply here now a moon in the very background to make it look like a knight as i did here many many lines i can start to clean up then and see in which of these many lines that I did, I can define the moon. I can define more in this one, like that. I like to draw, you know, like this because it's make the the drawing more 
confident in the aspect of fast you need to be fluid and fast don't try to draw like this you know this is not good so you need to create lines bold and big and long long lines like that oh, very good and then I can add I'm thinking to add the, the eyes to be something more like that look I will read just a little bit and then we will have a different feeling for this character like this oh, look how nice it is look at this my friend we just one single decision of erasing the upper eyes here on top you know it makes quite different <laughs> I was thinking here in a, in a thing like this cat is a sushi cat man you know sushi, uh, the sushi guys so he could be a sushi cat man not sushi cat I'd say <laughs> The, the job for from the guys that do sushis I love that uh, Japanese food I love that I'm thinking uh, just drawing here this very fluid shape as you can see like this yeah, very nice and then we're gonna move this into here and apply some kind of small details I'm thinking if we could add a kind of bend bend then I guess here you know, something like this and then I will just do this like that yeah become very nice as you can see and some kind of details there is the moon perhaps we can add kind of some buildings in the very far away just to give you more context of our ideas here or houses shape this is more square so it means buildings so if we do more triangle it's going to be more houses it's, it's really depends about where this cat I it is located we we'll just add this for now like buildings it can be a city if we do triangular or like this look how this can change a lot it's gonna be more Japanese and uh, I think it's gonna make more sense if we do and follow this structure like that nice and then the moon here look at this my friend this is our sketch is e sketch you know <laughs> okay we're not very good with jokes but yeah I, I try I try <laughs> oh here we go And then that's it for this refinement and sketching as you can see and now my friend it's time to show you how you can transfer your drawing that you made on paper into digital art let me show you the steps that I usually do I'm gonna use the telegram here the same app that I use for you know to share and communicate with, with the vectorized club let me show you this quick tutorial about how you can perform in this way here so look at this as you can see we have here the drawing and then i will just take a photo of this sketch as you see as you can see here on my screen i will take a photo and send a photo to myself but that case telegram will ask me here to you know to add some options here which is gonna make the image even better you see I'll click here in these two lines and then I'll, I will enhance more this image as you see the quality seems a bit better and then I'll add more contrast and 
here I will add in these three no uh, icons here I will add more curve by doing this just like that and I will make the image more white in order to to make it clean I will show you now by saying to myself this image and now I'm gonna open on a fit design on desktop now as you can see I'm using the desktop and what I need to do is to open the telegram here on my computer I sent to myself on saved messages and here I'm gonna copy okay and then I will just paste right here okay as you can see I have a, a shadow that can disturb be not very good but anyway you can use the the group in order to do this you can now group the image okay just be careful to not have the shadows included because this can uh, bothers your you know a sketch in that case you can start to make the vector in this way so that's it in order to make the sketch and transfer it into digital so next week we're going to next week we're gonna do here the vector design which i'm gonna show you the step by step about how you can vector each single shape of this character all right and i hope that you really enjoy it and please leave the like if you are enjoying this tutorial because we're gonna cover here uh every single step in order to make everything very great for you i want to thank you so much and i see you next week take care and bye bye my friend see you in there